from sunny Spain. Now, first of all, let me apologize for my appearance. I assure you that I dislike this color as much as maybe my dog did his. Secondly, and more importantly, we're here in the beautiful Balearic Islands of Mallorca off the coast of Spain, and my excuse to come here is this little beauty right here. Now, this is the facelifted B-Class. You've seen it at the Paris Motor Show earlier, and we're here to drive at some beautiful locations, beautiful roads, can't wait to get to them. And towards the end of it, I assure you, there's a small surprise in store for you as well. Looking at the new B-Class, one can easily surmise there's a lot of the new C-Class design influence on it. The family resemblance begins with the incorporation of a wider front grille and an entirely new headlamp unit. The daytime running LEDs are similar to the outgoing model's parking lights and now becomes a part of the headlamp cluster. The side profile doesn't get many changes, so you might not be able to tell the difference between new and old. The alloy wheel design is however different. Move to the rear and once again you need a keen eye to tell the difference. The bumper is slightly modified and now houses the tailpipe. The tail lamps too in Vogue now feature LED lighting. The B-Class continues to be classy and comfortable on the insides, albeit with a few traces of alterations. The most noticeable changes being the steering wheel with a new design inspired once again by the new C-Class and the center infotainment display which is now slimmer and features a high resolution screen. A new gen command system now debuts in the B-Class, a first for an MFA platform car and the next gen telematics offer an easier to operate and better looking interface. Now this particular car that I'm driving is the B220 CDI with uh, an AMG body kit along with this beautiful Jupiter red color. But this is not what we're going to get in India. Uh, the AMG kit is not for the Indian market and neither is the 4MATIC all-wheel drive system that this car has. And of course uh, the 220 has a 184 PS engine which is not going to make it to India either. But if this particular variant wasn't going to make it to India, then why are we driving it again, you ask? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Just look at the roads we are on. Do we really look like the kinds who'd say no to an extra 80 PS of power? So overdrive search for the ultimate driving road continues, and today, well, it's brought us to this beautiful Balearic island of Mallorca off the coast of Spain. And well, it's a beautiful road and we started from the capital, which is Palma. And the destination for the day is Port Adriano. Now it's a beautiful mountainous road with the mountain faces on one side and the beautiful never-ending ocean on the other. Now this is right up there amongst the best roads that we've driven on. And it's understandable why the roads traversing through the Serra di Tramontana mountains are said to be some of the best driving roads in the world. This range deservedly gets a UNESCO World Heritage status for physical and cultural significance, but just the road by itself deserves that status. I can only wish that I had a more powerful car. But for the sake of comfort and convenience, the B-Class does its job rather well. And in terms of the engine, the powertrain, the mechanicals, I really don't have as much to tell you about this new B-Class because quite frankly what's going to come to India isn't a whole lot different. So you got the same engine, the same 7-speed dual clutch gearbox which by the way is working wonderfully well just because there's, there's no jerks from the gearbox so that also helps my situation. And even overall the suspension, the ride, the handling, everything remains uh, quite unaltered. So I'm driving against the very good advice of my doctor and so I was hoping that I would get a road that was devoid of undulations and not those nasty bumps and thankfully I've got that. Now more than that I was also worried about the fact that I'm driving an MPV so there would be naturally quite a bit of muddy road but surprisingly the B-Class 
and this is not the first time that we've said this, but the B-Class really doesn't have as much body roll and my neck can't feel the G-forces even when we're driving through these, um, these curvaceous mountain roads. From the affluent Port Adriano that kind of looks like the confluence of Monaco and Los Angeles, we then head towards Port Andrax, another destination for the celebrities and the wealthy. This island seemed to have everything that a tourist would want. Mountains, beaches, a vivacious nightlife. It's no wonder then that I'm finding it hard to come to terms with the fact that the drive must come to an end. But before I say goodbye, there's one more thing that I'd like to show you. Well, I did say that there was a surprise towards the end, and this is it. Now look closely, this isn't your average B-Class. This is the B-Class that's never gonna see a fuel pump ever. That's right, this is the electric B-Class. But you know what, you can look at it and then forget about it, because in India, you're not gonna get it, at least not yet. Now, I know you're probably wondering why I'm making such a big fuss about the B-Class. In its new facelift, it's not that substantial a facelift, and you're not gonna get it anytime soon in India either. But the real big news is that Mercedes-Benz have announced that they will start assembling the MFA cars in India starting next year and this will be one of them that, that will allow them to price it quite aggressively as well. And when that happens, things are going to get a little shaken up in this compact luxury car segment. So well, that's when it does manage to happen. Right now we've had a fantastic drive, we've reached our destination, I'm going to get myself some sun and sand. So, adios. <laughs>